Hey guys, it's Julia here, and I'm back with another video after not uploading for a while. I will continue to try and upload more videos if I can, things are just kind of busy right now. However, I found this interesting. So, you know how the free upgrade offer existed when Windows 10 got released and people on Windows 7 and 8.1 could upgrade? And then in 2016, the free upgrade offer ended? However, even after that offer ended, people were still able to upgrade to Windows 10 for free. And the reason is because Microsoft was still accepting Windows 7 and 8 keys to activate Windows 10. And obviously when you upgrade, I guess it just keeps your key or whatever and act uses it to activate 10. However, that's no longer the case anymore. As of yesterday, this actually stopped working. However, this article was written today. But if we read this, it says you can no longer activate Windows 11 or 10 with older Windows keys. So basically, if you have any Windows 7 or 8 keys laying around or 8.1, you can no longer use those keys to activate Windows 10 or Windows 11, as it'll just reject the key and it won't activate. Now, I did actually a YouTube short on this not too long ago, like maybe some months ago, not like too long ago, maybe like three months ago or something, I don't remember. And I did use a Windows 7 key from a laptop and that was able to activate Windows 10. However, if I was to try that again, it wouldn't work because you can no longer do this. However, I believe existing installations that you've already activated are gonna be fine. They're not going to just all of a sudden block those from being used. So if you already did the method, you're good. However, if you wanna do the method, you can't anymore. And one thing I will say is that the free upgrade offer was you know a way you could get windows 10 and then once it ended the way you could still get windows 10 is you could just run the media creation tool and tell it to upgrade and windows will just activate once it's installed or you could clean install windows and then enter the product key from the bottom of the computer that was 7 or 8 or 8.1 well normally 7 because i don't think they really put eight keys on the bottom of systems or on the system itself because you know it could be a desktop but you could do that and it would activate. However, the easiest way is to just upgrade an existing install. However, here's the weird thing. I don't remember this always working because I believe when the upgrade offer originally ended, I tried upgrading a system with the MCT and it didn't activate. So I'm really confused unless like they opened it back up or maybe it was just the fact that that computer just didn't want to do it for some reason. Maybe there was some issue and it just didn't activate or they closed it for a short period before reopening it. However, this article claims that it's always worked. So if you guys have any idea on that, you can leave a comment on your experiences because here it says, after July 29, 2016, the offer expired and Windows 10 was no longer a free upgrade, except it was because users found they could still upgrade without needing to buy a key because it would just accept the keys with no questions asked. And even after 11 came out, the keys still worked on 11 because Windows 10 and 11 use like the same licenses and you can still upgrade 10 to 11 for free. So you don't need to worry about that. If you're running Windows 10 and you wanna go to 11, yes, you can still go to 11 because 10 keys do work on 11. Even You can even install 11 and enter a 10 key and it would activate. It's just, this article is talking about the Windows 7 and 8 keys no longer activating the OS, which I'll be honest, I'm surprised that this even worked for as long as it did because I expected this to stop working, you know, after the free upgrade offer expired, but it turns out that it continued to work for this many years and then all of a sudden Microsoft decided to stop it, which I'm not entirely sure why they all, all of a sudden stopped it. Maybe they weren't making as many sales Maybe they just want people to buy licenses, but there is another theory I do have, which I will explain, which is there was, you know, scripts online that could do like hardware ID activation, and apparently that has stopped working as well. And soon after that was discovered, it was discovered that you can't use seven and eight keys to activate anymore. So my theory is maybe those softwares were exploiting that in activating Windows and Microsoft stopped the keys from being activated to pretty much prevent people from just generating licenses on computers, which, I mean, it does make sense because Microsoft isn't getting money from the keys if people are just downloading a program to generate a license, which yes, that is piracy. So obviously I wouldn't recommend anything like that, but it doesn't even work anymore anyway. So 
if you even tried, it would just reject the key as well. And I think that's how we also figured that out because it would reject the key. But the interesting thing is that it does even work on LTSC versions or any other versions that aren't even seven and eight. So who knows with that? But the only way that people could activate Windows technically pirating would be KMS. However, Microsoft does, you know, probably take those servers down and it's just not recommended to pirate or anything like that. So, but anyways, that is a theory as to why Microsoft stopped it. Or maybe they just decided to stop this because they've done it for so long and they just want to now. And I'm sure Windows 12 is probably around the corner and I'm actually excited to see what Windows 12 is gonna be like because I don't know. I'm still running Windows 10 on all my systems actually. I've not even upgraded to 11 again because the last time I had 11 on my computer and on also on my laptop, I had problems. So I downgraded back to Windows 10 again because I wanted to wait till Microsoft fixed more of the issues. However, I do like the features in 11, so I might end up upgrading at some point, but I've mainly been waiting for a Windows 11 LTSC to get released, which has not happened yet. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but anyways, I thought I'd make a video talking about this because I found it interesting, but also there is a Microsoft article on this too. Well, I don't know if I'd call this like an article, but it's on their website and it says, Windows ends installation path for three Windows 7 to eight upgrade. Microsoft's free upgrade offer to 10 and 11, it ended on July 29, 2016. Installation path to uh, installation path to obtain the 78 free upgrade was removed as well. Upgrades to Windows 11 from upgrades to Windows 11 from Windows 10 are still free. So it's just letting you know, yes, you can still upgrade to 11 just to clarify, but if you're upgrading 7 and 8 to 10 or 11, that you can't do anymore. Then again, I'm sure most Windows 7 slash 8 era systems can't even go to Windows 11 because it won't meet the system requirements which you can actually see the system requirements because they have links here and a link for the requirements and specs and stuff. And then another link on how to get 11, which is not surprising. I'll leave both of these links in the description of the video, but I wanna hear your thoughts. What is your thoughts on Microsoft doing this? I'll be honest, I'm not surprised. I'm more surprised by the fact that the offer ended in 2016 and they waited how many years to stop it? They waited seven years to stop it because now it's 2023. If we look at my calendar, it is September 28th of 2023. It actually stopped yesterday on September 27th, but I didn't know until like later that night and I was going to record a video, but I was just tired. So I decided to record a video today. By the way, I do have some video ideas coming up. You guys will start seeing more videos on the channel. I just got really busy. I did make a YouTube short like almost a week ago, maybe a little less than a week ago, if you want to check that out. However, I want to start making more longer content as well, as that's more my type of content than YouTube Shorts, as I sometimes do YouTube Shorts for the fun of it, but I prefer my longer content. So, yeah, what a shame it ended. It's either Microsoft decided to, or they did it to patch those hardware activators, which would not be surprising because, you know, they did exploit it. Or maybe they just, you know, was like, okay, it's about time we stop this, you know? Most people have probably upgraded by now from 7 and 8. And also people were probably still using a lot of the keys to activate 10 and 11 systems. So, again, not a surprise. Like I said, it lasted this long, so I guess farewell. Anyways, I'll stop the video here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. It's sad, but... I feel like, you know, I'm not surprised. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.